A MAKEOVER FOR A LOCALLY BASED SHIP. THE USS ABRAHAM LINCOLN IS NOW IN DRY DOCK AT NEWPORT NEW SHIP BUILDING. THE NUCLEAR POWERED AIRCRAFT CARRIER WILL BE REFUELED AND OVERHAULED. TEN ON YOUR SIDE MILITARY REPORTER ART Khan WAS AT THE SHIPYARD THIS MORNING AND JOINS US WITH WHAT THE PROJECT MEANS FOR THE NAVY AND LOCAL WORKERS. A LOT OF PEOPLE WERE LOOKING FORWARD TO THIS ART. OH, YOU BETTER BELIEVE IT, ANITA. THE LINCOLN WAS SUPPOSED TO BE IN DRY DOCK SIX WEEKS AGO, BUT THAT MOVE WAS DELAYED UNTIL CONGRESS PASSED THE CONTINUING APPROPRIATIONS ACT ON MARCH 21ST. NOW, THE WORK BEING DONE ON THE CARRIER IS VITAL FOR BOTH THE NAVY AND NEWPORT NEWS SHIPBUILDING IN A NUMBER OF WAYS. The USS Lincoln doesn't leave a lot of room as it sits in Dry Dock 11, but for Newport News shipbuilding, this is a perfect fit and a move that occurred just in the nick of time. If Lincoln would have been delayed further, we would have potentially faced workforce impacts, negative workforce impacts. During the period, the three and a half year period of this RCOH, uh, we will have 3,800 Newport News employees working on her during the peak periods of the project. Those 3,800 employees are highly skilled craftsmen and currently busy finishing the refueling and complex overhaul of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Many of them would have likely been let go if the Navy had not been able to go forward with work on the Lincoln. The workforce here is critical to the cost efficiency and the productivity that we experience. Which is critical to the bottom line of both the company and their biggest customer. And in spite of the delays getting Lincoln here, Newport News is still vowing to bring this project in under budget. Due in large part to the company performing a lot of the preparation work at Naval Station Norfolk during the six week delay. And right now I would tell you based on that, that, that work and what we set up, uh, we plan to be make, make budget on that, uh, that total man hours, which was the plan from the beginning. The Navy is motivated by more than just costs when it comes to completing this project and maintaining carrier maintenance schedules. You've got to get out on time because we've got aircraft carriers lined up right behind us. So we know uh, to a person on this team that every day counts. Yeah, well, the extended continuing resolution also funds the inactivation of the USS Enterprise, the completion of the refueling and overhaul of the Theodore Roosevelt, and startup work for the construction of the next carrier to be built, the USS Kennedy. Art Con, 10 on your side. Thank you, Art.